We discussed this out in the kitchen when I first started trying to record this, but uh, I need to re-dye my hair. Originally, my application to Epic was going to be just one really long video. I expected it to be about 20 minutes to 25 minutes long, but it has since struck me that it's going to be a lot longer than that, and there are going to be people who are from Ireland trying to apply to Epic and they don't want to watch a big long video to get information about one article of information. So I have decided to make it into a bunch of smaller videos instead. So this short video segment is me talking about the CRC or the criminal record check. So when you apply to EPIC or to a HAGWAN or for a visa to work pretty much anywhere, but especially when you want to apply for a teaching position in another country, you need to prove that you're not a dangerous person. And in order to do so, you need to have what they call a criminal record check. Here in Ireland, it's not, not as difficult as it may seem to get. I put way too much thought into it. Um, didn't research properly at all my first time around and I actually ended up applying to have my record checked somewhere I don't remember how I found that form it was online I don't know how I found that form but it was just it's wrong completely wrong so instead what you need to do is you need to go to your local guard station and you need to ask for an application form for a police certificate of character in Ireland you need to ask for a police certificate of character, where we call the police the guardy. It doesn't make any sense. But yeah, so you will get this form, which for me was really badly photocopied onto just a plain white sheet of paper. Um, it has a lot of information that you need to fill in. You need to put in your current address, previous addresses in the Republic of Ireland, and you need to write down you need to like circle why you're obtaining this certificate so they actually have visa application for adoption purposes because you also need to prove if you're going to adopt a child you need to prove that again you're not a danger to the child so obviously for this you need to circle visa application and then underneath that where it says name of country application is for you write down south korea be specific write down south korea um, and then you also need to have your copy of your birth certificate, you need to have a copy of your current passport, so the information page of your passport, you need to have a photocopy of that, and then you also need to provide them with a stamped self-addressed envelope. So once you've filled this in, you bring this, you bring the photocopy of your birth certificate and the photocopy of your passport, as well as that envelope back to your guard station, you give them everything, they will send it away for you and then a couple of weeks later, usually about two weeks, you get your police certificate of character. I'm gonna have to blur a lot of this. So this is what it's going to look like. It's going to say here in this box that it's specifically for South Korea. So make sure that you get that correct. Make sure that all your information is correct and make sure that... Basically that's it. Just make sure all your information on the form is correct. And this should be posted out to you within a week, if not sooner. Um, I know that I got this one, obviously, a long time before the pandemic started, so it only took about a week to come back to me. Um, yeah, and then from there, all you need to do is photocopy this and have the photocopy for yourself, just so that you know that you have your C or C, your police certificate of character. And you just then bring it to... The DFA so they have two offices one is in Dublin and one is in Cork right now with the pandemic I'm aware that both offices are closed but you can still post your copy of your degree and a copy of this baby to them uh, with a covering letter and they will apostle them apostle apostille I'm still not sure how to pronounce that word but they will do that thing that you need for them. I had both of mine waiting for my application last year and I didn't get an interview so I didn't have to send them away for anything. It will cost 50 euro per apostle as far as I remember. So that's that's basically it. It's a very simple process. It's about as long as this video to fill out the form and have everything photocopied and brought back in and you should have it back within two weeks 
maybe three because of the pandemic i'm not too sure but there you go um again that police certificate character you use that for adoption purposes and also for other visas to go anywhere so if you're not applying to epic or to korea but you're applying to teach somewhere else and you need to get a uh, c or c for your visa this is also what you'd need to do so go into your local garda station ask them for a police certificate of character application form and they will tell you what you need to provide come home fill it out get the envelope get the photocopies of your birth cert and whatever and bring it back into them thank you for watching my really short video for the first time ever and i hope all my other videos in this playlist that i'm going to be making about applying to epic are helpful and hopefully i'll see you in the next short video thank you bye Probably not the best angles or best place to be recording this, but you know, look at the bed. I need to redo my roots. Oh, ho, ho, ho. look at all those blonde bits coming through. Anyway, hi.